All right, equations with rational coefficients. So we're going to solve this equation by getting our variable by itself. Um, we're going to do that by using the inverse operation. So here we have a number times this variable. This number happens to be a mixed number. It doesn't change our step though. Uh, since this number is next to the variable, it is multiplication. So the opposite or the inverse of multiplication is division. So what we're going to do is go ahead and divide both sides by 3 and 1 tenth. So we're going to divide by 3 and 1 tenth on both sides. So what that does is get my S by itself. Now I have a lot of work to do over here. This is what I'm going to do. set it up as a division problem. In order to divide this mixed number by this mixed number, both of these numbers need to be put into improper fraction form. Once they're in improper fraction form, like 31 over 5 divided by 31 over 10, because we're dividing by a fraction, we multiply, we actually do the, do the division by multiplying by the reciprocal. Okay, and to do this multiplication, I do uh, cross canceling before I multiply to make this number smaller. So on the bottom and the top, if they have common factors like 31, 31 can divide into itself one whole time. So I go 31 into 31 is 1, and 31 into this 31 is also 1. On this side, from the 5 and the 10, they both share a factor of 5. So I'm going to divide this 5 by 5 to get 1, and divide the 10 by 5. And 10 divided by 5 is 2. So I get a new uh, set of fractions to multiply. So now I get, I just go ahead and multiply the result here, which is much easier. So I get 2 over 1, which is 2. So S equals 2. Okay, this example, I'm going to do it, uh, do my uh, coefficient a different way. Again, we're dealing with mixed numbers. Uh, instead of doing my first step to isolate my variable, I'm going to change my mixed numbers into improper fractions first. Okay, so I just rewrote the equation so that it isn't so that the coefficients or the numbers, the mixed numbers, are now improper fractions. If you forgot how to do that, this is how I got these answers. Okay, so all I did was multiply the two times the four, add the one, keeping the denominator of two. That gave me the nine. Multiply the nine times the three plus two, like over here, kept the denominator nine. Okay, so now that they're both improper fractions, we're going to go ahead and uh, isolate or get our variable by itself, but it is being multiplied by this 9 over 2. So what does that tell me I need to do? Uh, I do the opposite. The opposite of multiplying by 9 over 2 is dividing by 9 over 2. So I'm going to divide by 9 over 2 to both sides. Divide by 9 over 2 to both sides. This division gives me my n by itself. So this problem over here on the right, it I rewrite it in the horizontal way, so sideways. And when I see this, I'm dividing by a fraction, which means I am going to multiply by the reciprocal. And there's nothing to cancel out from the top and the bottom, so I just multiply straight across, giving me a negative 58 over 9, which I can change into an improper fraction as negative 6 and 4 9. So n is equal to negative 6 and 4 9. Okay, another example with a fraction in it as my coefficient. So what I need to do is cancel out that two-fifths or divide both sides by two-fifths. In order to do this division, I'm going to put a one underneath this eight since I'm dividing by a fraction and then I need to multiply by the reciprocal. So before I multiply straight across, I'm going to see if I could cross cancel, which I can. The two and the eight share a factor of two, so two can be divided by two one time. Eight can be divided by two four times, leaving me with the four on the top 
and these ones on the bottom. Now I can multiply straight across, giving me 20 over 1, and so x equals 20. Okay, so now I'm dealing with decimals this time, and the variable is on the right side. Doesn't change what we're trying to do, we're trying to isolate in n is being multiplied by 0 0.45 so that means I'm going to divide both sides by 0 0.45 okay in order to divide by a decimal we need to make sure that the divisor this one on the bottom or the outside has to be a whole number so I gotta move this decimal point over two times to make it a 45 and however many times I move it over for the bottom I have to move it the same number of times for the top so my new problem is 315 divided by 45 and so now I go ahead and do my division which gives me 7 so n equals 7 or 7 equals n okay here's another example dealing with decimals uh, we want to get our k by itself it's being multiplied by a negative 5.6 so that means I'm going to divide by a negative 5.6 to both sides Okay, so I get negative 12.88 divided by negative 5.6. Now, in order to divide by this decimal number on the bottom, I have to make it into a whole number by moving the decimal point one time to the right. Now, I only had to move it one time, so that means I only moved the top one one time. So now I, I get the problem, or the division problem, of 128.8 divided by 56. So now I can go ahead and divide since this is a whole number. So I get 2.3 as my answer. So K equals 2.3. All right. So hopefully this helps you out about equations with rational coefficients.